Mm-hmm. All right. Give it a couple minutes. Not quite time. All right. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Just gonna give it a few minute, minute or two before we get going. People are just now coming on. All right, today is on consciousness. Gotta have some consciousness, gotta have awareness. Otherwise you're a victim, which is what I wanna talk about today, victim. Alrighty. Okay, I know I'm on the right page. Got it right. All right, so we got a couple people. Oh, there's Falcon again. Cool. Morning, everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to bring some awareness around the around victim the victim i mean truthfully we all feel victimized at some point you know it's like no matter what awareness we have what consciousness we have there's still uh, a place where you know we feel victimized like when someone does something and we take it personal okay so when we take things personal then we become a victim Okay, so I want to get a few people here. I want to show, um, you know, the 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 frequency of victimhood, victimization, and how we co-create everything. Okay, all right. So it doesn't really matter what the, you know, what the what's happened in our world, what's happened in our lives. Uh, and I'm not negating, I want to be really clear with this, I'm not negating that when things happen that we just go, oh, I'm not a victim, so you know, I'll just do my part to unravel. Um, basically, you still need to, you know, we're here in the world, there's there's things that we have created and developed and re, um, teachings and all kinds of stuff. So we still need to show up for ourselves and show up for others and still wake up to what's really, really, really going on. What, you know, am I a victim? And in my reality from years and years, a lifetime basically of devotion to consciousness waking up, I've come to know that that we are co-creators in everything. Doesn't matter what it is, somehow, some way we have co-created. We have, you know, called something in, trying to unravel it and obviously we don't unravel it otherwise we wouldn't feel like we're victims okay so i'm going to back up a little bit let's just back up into past lives okay so you you know you've had hundreds of past lives some of you have had well over a thousand some of you had a couple thousand it just depends on you know where you are in your soul's evolution and also you know, we know we do we do know that we do have like old souls, young souls, you know, mature souls, all that good stuff. So, you know, you're gonna have more experience as a mature soul, obviously. Um, and at the same time, it doesn't matter how old your soul is or how many lifetimes you've had, you can still be acting as though you're a victim. Okay. Now I want to say I want to say this like. When I was younger, in my early life, of course, this life, of course, um, I felt like I was really a victim because things did happen, okay? So when you're a child and things happen to you, how can you understand that, oh, I called this in. Oh, I've co-created this. Oh, I wanted to unravel something. Oh, okay, so we don't know that. But we come into the world blind, forgetting, and then things happen and then of course we're we're a victim you know it's ingrained in us it's it's reinforced in us so 
you know, when I start talking about the victim and talking to people about how even in your language, Ian, it's very apparent you're still believing you're a victim, um, without the understanding and without waking up, then how can you possibly unravel your own victimhood? How can you possibly start being responsible and accountable for your own world, for your own life? But like I was saying, even though, you know, we, we come in and things happen and we anchor all the stuff in and, you know, like childhood, I know in my own personal life, you know, it was, there was a lot of felt like victim. Okay. So, um, uh, my dad leaving, my mom and dad divorcing, my dad going away, that felt victim, felt like loss, felt like, you know, heartache, heartbreak, all of that good stuff. I just wanted my dad. Um, having multiple abusers, um, physical abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse. I was mega victim. Okay, so I didn't even, I didn't really start pulling out of victim group until I was probably started waking up and um, when I started actually doing this kind of work and readings and things like that, and then I really started tracking humanity, that's when I started waking up to, ah, uh, we're co-creators here, uh, we've made agreements, I mean, I've been tracking our past lives, I've been tracking, you know, the wounding, how does it happen, who are we, how do we unravel it, so my life truly has been devoted to that. And in that journey, a lot has been revealed to me. A lot I've woken up to many, many, many things. And I know we really are not victims, even though it can feel like that. So victim is something that if you don't start unraveling your victimhood, and the only way you're going to do that is you've got to go into the subconscious. You have to unravel in the subconscious. But I know that when I do talk to people and ask them about, you know, feeling like victimized, you know, like, let's just say, for example, you know, you're married and you're, you, know, you think your life is good. You think everybody's doing well. And then all of a sudden you find out your partner was having an affair. You're going to feel like a victim. Okay. You're going to want to be blaming, pointing the finger. Look what you have done to me. Okay. That's our great. Those are the great words. Look what you've done to me. And then look, look at our country western songs. I used to listen to those. You know, I grew up country western. So, you know, somebody done somebody wrong song. Okay. So we continue to have people that are reinforcing, you know, through our music, through our writings, through every, our movies. You know, everything shows that other people do things to us and then we're the victim to that. Okay, so part of the part of the uh, the waking up the liberation component of everyone's life is is waking up to that you are co-creator, that you really are a divine being incarnate in a physical body, and you are co-creating your life. You know, I have people all the time say things like, especially in relationship. Yeah, in relationship. I want relationship, you know, I'm involved with somebody, but, you know, he doesn't show up or he's not always present or I want more or whatever. And it's like, well, what's, what are you really feeling? You know, what's really going on inside of you when you say these things? Is that really true? Can you feel where you don't want something or where you want something to be different than what you're saying? So people, it will always win. Your subconscious will always win. Okay. This is about consciousness, and it is about quantum consciousness. And if you don't have the fucking basics, then you are lost, okay? So, I mean, it's like, I sometimes think people are more awake than they really are, and then I start talking to them, and I discover, no, you're not awake. You don't even have the basics, all right? So quantum consciousness, get the foundation and then we can start leaping and bounding. But if you don't have these foundations, then you're going to hold the energy. You're going to hold your life back and you're going to stay stuck. You're still going to believe that things are being done to you. Okay. You're still going to believe you are a victim. Okay. So let's, let's see if we can start to unravel and go a little bit deeper in people's, um, you know, consciousness. All right. So let's see here. Let's go with, let's go with Falcon. Okay. You're the one who's saying that, that you thought this was morning was about quantum consciousness. Okay. Let's just see how free you are 
from your victimhood, okay? So Falcon, I know I think I worked with you before. I know we did some unraveling, but when you think about victim, you know, like victim consciousness, um, hang on a second, this morning, da, 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 victim consciousness has to be cleared to reach that though. Yeah, duh. Okay, so you got that part. Okay, so people, when you have energy, when you hold on to beliefs in your subconscious, I can clear energies, but if you're still holding on to things, if you're still holding on to victimhood, and this is one reason why I want to address that today in quantum consciousness, is because if you're still believing that things happen to you, that you are being, things are being done to you, that everybody, you know, other people are doing things to you. If you're also somehow, if you're believing that, I guarantee you, you believe that what we call God, creation source, is also doing something to you, okay? You, you know, it's like maybe you're being punished. Maybe you're, you know, it's like there's something going on that you've got running, okay? So let me just see what here. All right, so Falcon, let's do a little unraveling. Okay, hang on a second. I don't have victim consciousness. I'm fighting 5G at the moment. Yeah, well, the whole world's going to be fighting 5G, unfortunately. You know, we didn't really ask for that, but yet we don't really have control. So we could be a victim to that, okay? So, Falcon, let's just look at, you got, you're fighting 5G at the moment, okay? So, in that, in that feeling, okay, there is a feeling that there's nothing you can do, that this is happening to you, but there's, there's emotion here, okay? So, let's just look at the emotion, people. If you are free of your emotional reactions, what would life be like, okay? There are things in the world that you're not going to stop. You can't stop nature. You can't stop the tornadoes. You're not going to stop the hurricanes. You're not going to stop the rain. You're not going to stop these things, okay? And you're also not going to stop what the masses or the people in power have the ability to do, okay? So, yes, we are working really hard, or some of us, not everybody, but there are handfuls of people who are doing everything they can to bring awareness about the 5G and the damage and the harm that's actually doing, okay? So <clears throat> what I'm talking about, though, people, is your emotional reaction. Who has to live in your body? You do, okay? So who's the one having a reaction? You are, all right? So again, if you were not having reactions, what would life be like in your world, in your reality? I'm going to tell you straight up, you'd have so much more happiness, so much more joy. You'd be shining more of your own light. You'd be more present. You'd be more fulfilled. And you would be letting people get to see the, the beauty that you actually are, okay? So when we deal with this, our own um, victimization, once we start releasing that from our subconscious, then we can start accelerating. Then we can really start to open energies up. The victim frequency is huge, people. If you could see, those of you who can sense energy, those of you who can track and see and feel and sense and know energy on, a, on the energy planes, you, if you just ask, show me, show me victimhood, show me the world, show me how many people, show me what victimhood looks like. I'm going to tell you straight up, it is so dark, it is so black, it is so massive, it's one of the biggest frequencies in the entire world, the victim. Everyone is a victim, unless they think they are, okay? So, Falcon, that, I want to use you because you were inquiring, okay? So, Falcon, when you think about, okay, so what I want you to do we're going to do a little unraveling here, but Falcon, what I want you to do is I want you to think about the feeling when you think about the, the 5G, okay? What do you, what do you, I want you to go ahead and write, go ahead and do this with me, okay? So I, since I can't talk with you, I need you to write it, okay? So Falcon, when you think about the 5G, when you think about it, there's an emotion, okay? There's a feeling, there's an emotion. 
when you drop in and let yourself just feel that, that is that victim frequency. And I'm going to remind everyone as well that not only do you have victim energy, but you are attached to it. You get pleasure in it, people. There's a perverse pleasure in your suffering, and you're going to have to wake up to it. Okay? So let me see here. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Beautiful. Okay? This is perfect. People, can you read? Let me pin it. Well, I want you all to look at what Falcon is saying. Okay? There's a horror. There's a grief. There's upset. Reminds me of helplessness. Duh. Okay? Helplessness is something that's going to happen with victimhood. All right? So, Falcon, let's, let's do a little unraveling here so you can get a sense of the difference. Okay? So, Falcon, what I want you to do, and everyone else can do the same thing, okay? Because everyone can get some clearing on this. It won't be just Falcon. So what I want you to do is let that feeling be there. Just let it be there. Don't try to stop it. Don't try to make it go away. Let it be there. It's going to feel really bad. But while you're doing this, what I want you to realize, there's a feeling, there's a sense, even in the, in the hopelessness, even in the horror, there's a familiar feeling. Okay, it's familiar. Let yourself be right there. Just be right there in that familiarness of this feeling like the horror, the helplessness, the despair, it's anguish, okay? So just be right there, be right there. Don't try to go away, Falcon. Now, now what I want you to do is just let just get out of the way. Everyone who's going to participate in this, get out of get out of the way, okay? So as you get out of the way, then I'm going to go in I'm going to be tracking into the victim frequency. Now, Falcon, when I go into your subconscious, into your victim frequency, it's like a swamp of blackness, a swamp of the victim frequency. And it isn't just you that has this. All of humanity has this, okay? So whatever I'm saying about Falcon, I guarantee you, you got it too, okay? So, Falcon, I'm going to start pulling out some of this victim frequency so you can start to feel that this is energy. This is carryover. This is conclusions, beliefs, programming, other people's emotions. This is not you, okay? Falcon, when I go deep into the core essence of you, what I see is this beautiful light. There's a tinge of a little bit of a blue in there, but that's your probably your ray color is that tinge of blue. But it's like it's like consciousness, awareness. It's it's a beautiful frequency. Okay, that's who you really are, free from, absent from all this victim energy. Okay, so Falcon, as I go into your subconscious, into the swampy energy, I'm going to be doing several things. I'm going to be going into your past lives. I'm going to go into where you agreed to know yourself as a victim, which everyone's done this, people. Every single human being on the planet has agreed to know thyself as a victim. Not only that, but you've also done all the perpetrator stuff, so you've been victimizing, okay? So, again, I'm going to go right in, and I'm going to do it for everyone, people. Everyone's got victim, I'm telling you, straight up. We can't soar and fly as long as you got this dark, black, gnarly victim, the poor me, and your perverse pleasure in your own suffering is still there, okay? So, I'm just going to go right in because it's that familiar thing, okay? It's familiar. We, whatever's familiar, we're going to hold on to, okay? It's like family, okay? The abuse, the horror. Okay, so now I'm going to go right into everyone's subconscious, okay? Because this is quantum healing, people. Yes, okay, good. So now let's go in, in, in. I'm going to go in. Find, show me somewhere else where people can, someone can release your trauma, release your, these frequencies, and you get liberated within a matter of, you know, minutes or hour or whatever, okay? So right now, I'm going to go right in, and I'm going to bring light, 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 the light of the all that is, the light of the one we call God, that light right there, pulling that into the subconscious of everyone, blasting out some of these conclusions and beliefs, programming, some of the torture, the pain, the hopelessness, helplessness, despair, anguish, suffering. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okie dokie. Okay, you also all have anchored in that suffering is godlike. Yeah, how cool is that? Okay, all right, good. Let's get that one too, okay? Suffering <laughs> makes you spiritual, makes you, you know, like Jesus or, you know, holy. You're the holy person, people. Everyone's got it. Whatever I'm talking, 
everyone has it okay now i'm going to go in blasting clearing let's get the victim frequency i'm so just so y'all know what i'm doing yeah you might think that oh yeah i should just move in energy let me just tell you what i'm doing so right now i'm going in not only am i clearing out the trauma not only am i clearing out the conclusions and your beliefs i'm literally releasing massive amounts of victims discarnates dead people in your energy field and there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. go 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 i'm bringing the light down there we go calling in the emissaries the messiahs calling in the beloveds yeah, there we go. Uh huh. Yeah, make sure all the perpetrators are out as well. We just, uh huh. And I'm also bringing in light beans also for those who have been extremely traumatized. Falcon, just so you know, you've got beans inside of you that have been literally torched. Hang on a second. Has Falcon been? Yeah. Okay, so Falcon, you've got major stuff, okay? You, when I go back into your live stream, I'm not only am I finding like normal victimization, but I'm also finding places of being tortured, like seriously tortured, okay? <clears throat> I'm seeing places of being enslaved. I'm seeing, whoa, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But also, what I'm also finding, you know, it's like, yes, there's the other things that you have also done. So there's always the flip side. There's always the co-creation. There's always knowing all facets, meaning I'll, I'll know the victim, but I'll also know what it feels like to be the victimizer, okay? So we got all that running. So I'm going to start pulling out, again, out of everyone, your victimizer, where you have done things, where you have victimized others, and start releasing those traumas and also all the victims. Oh my word, people, you got so many victims. And I mean, think about it. You got, let's just say you got hundreds of lifetimes, and even in, you know, even in a hundred lifetimes, you've caused harm to others, victimized others, and you've carried those and pulled those victims at some of their energy into your own energy field. What do you think's going to happen? You know, it doesn't just go away. So as we start releasing and clearing that victim energy out of the subconscious, Clear, 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 victims out. Okay, now I mean, literally there's, there's victims inside of everyone that are so terrified and so traumatized, nothing is safe to them. They're afraid of the light. They're afraid that the, if they go into the light, they're going to be tortured, that their torturers are there. So we got really, really severely damaged human beings that have died, okay? So now I'm going to go into the subconscious. I'm going to use the white flame. This is the Holy Spirit. What I do is I put that white flame right in these souls that have died, that have been tortured. And as I do that, then the trauma, the horror, the really intense frequencies start to dissolve and dissipate and are being lifted up and out of these victims. Okay, so yeah, I might need to use 100 white flames. But the bottom line is, is the, light, the flame can literally release trauma and it will change what's going to happen in their next incarnations as well as it's going to release and change the trauma that they're experiencing, the horror that they're experiencing right now. Okay, so as I keep unraveling and I'm still using Falcon, I want to make sure we got that one right there. Good. Okay, dokie. So yeah, good, good, good. So clear, 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 clear. And this is for everyone. Everyone's benefiting from this frequency clearing that I'm releasing and unraveling, not just out of Falcon, but for everyone. Yeah, there's that whole deep, deep, deep belief that we're victims, okay? Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? Okay, Falcon, you got someone in your subconscious that's holding on to that wants you to hold on to the belief that you are a victim. Okay, so let me just communicate with what's going on here. Who are you? What are you doing here? You're the big man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're trying to keep them safe? Mm -mm. Ah, you want to keep them stuck. Keep the falcon stuck. Okay, got it. Get out. Out. Good. Clear, 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 clear. Go, 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 go. Be gone. All right, good. Now, Falcon, I want you to feel back in, okay, because you're indicating you've got grief and, and, um, horror and helplessness i want you to feel back in now let me know what you're noticing let me know what it's feeling like it's going to start changing okay but what i what i want to really bring to the forefront everyone is all i'm doing is releasing energy energy that's it and i'm releasing energy from your past incarnations i'm releasing energy from your subconscious I'm releasing energy frequencies that are stuck in your physical body, um, you know, conclusions and beliefs. Okay, good, much better, okay? So people, again, there was nothing that I removed out of Falcon that was actually belonged to Falcon, that was actually Falcon's, okay? Everything that I'm moving out is energy frequencies that are not you, 
not that are not uh, yours okay so anything from past life that has nothing to do with who you are in this lifetime and yet it has everything to do with who you are in this lifetime okay so <clears throat> Quantum consciousness, if you don't understand your attachment to your own victimhood, how can we do any kind of accelerated clearing, accelerated consciousness, okay? Because you're holding it. Everyone's holding it. You're holding it and you're buying into it. So another thing I want you all to look at is wake up to is there's an attachment to your suffering. I remember when I woke up to this, it was like, what? <laughs> so... I don't even remember how it happened. All I know is, oh, it might have been, oh yeah, it was, a, oh yeah, it was um, Molly Summerlin. She was my business. We worked together with the Renaissance Center and she was talking about, you know, um, you know, the perverse pleasure in one's suffering. It was like, and then I started looking at it and then I could feel. So when I would go into my own suffering, which would happen almost daily, okay, back when I, back in the day, but you know, that poor me, this is happening, and, you know, na da 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 okay? And when I would do that, I started paying attention, okay? I started paying attention. This is what I want you all to do. Start paying attention, okay? So when you're in your suffering, people, when you're in a bad place or you're when you're in depression or, you know, whatever whatever state of mind you're in and it's, it's not the joyful happy, okay? There's a, whenever you're in the, in the more negative, just be with that and then start feeling into and see if you can find and discover your own pleasure. Like there's like this, it hurts so bad. Wait, how's it going? It hurts so good to feel so bad. Yeah. Okay. So when you start waking up to that, then you got to make a choice. You got to make a decision. And that decision has to be, I got to come out of victimhood. Okay. And if you want to know your victimhood, but you don't really know it, start, do it, write yourself some letters, okay, and talk about your victimhood, but do it with your non-dominant hand, just start writing and writing yourself, talk about the victimhood, and you're going to start un unraveling, because non-dominant hand starts to open up this uh, access to the subconscious, and if you get out of the way, then it starts to reveal stuff, okay, so that's a great way to discover how much um, victimization you're actually holding on to, okay, so, you know, when I, <laughs> when I, the film that I'm in, it's called Awaken Soul to Soul. It's a really cool film. It's got, you know, it's got Barbara Marks Hubbard and um, it's big, yeah, uh, Rabbi Shank, well, I forget their name, doesn't matter, but there's some pretty big names in there. And the, the people that I was working with, it's like, I kept talking about and describing and showing and, and, pointing out and trying to unravel the victimhood but it was like it didn't sink in people so i already know i can be talking to you right now about victimhood you don't you're not going to understand it you're not going to get it because you can't because if you are part of you is anchored into victim victimhood then you're blind to it it's in your subconscious your normal reaction will be is oh why did you do that to me why is this happening to me I must be being punished. There must be something wrong with me. Again, these are words that say victim. You know, I'm not accountable. I'm not responsible. I don't have any power over my own life. Okay. And that simply isn't true. All right. All right. Hang on a second. What is this? What? I don't know who that is. Zelma something. Shalomi. No, I don't know who that is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Getting conflict is the power structure. Da, 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 treasure. There was going here. Okay, so people, again, I don't care what you're talking about. Let's just use a couple people. I'm going to pin one of these. I'm going to pin Nicole. Keeps getting conflicts with the power structure. Authority figures, people perceived to be perpetrators or even slightly abusive. What's going on here? Can you help? Okay, let me remind you, people. Um, victim energy has a frequency. Okay, so if you got a lot of victim energy, let me go this way. Okay, so let's just say, let's just make this the victim energy. Okay, now if you got all this victim energy in you, okay, it's going to create reactions and responses. And I'm just going to use Nicole for um, 
just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, okay? So even though you might have awareness, you know, that, oh, I got my mother's victim energy in me, I'm going to tell you straight up, you all have your mother's victim energy in you. Every single one of you has your mother's victim energy in you, okay? Oh, you don't remember. Um, talked about before, when you're in the womb, you're drinking in her energy. I call it poison because that's what it looks like. It's like a poison that comes into you. And whatever she's experiencing, whatever she's feeling, what her emotions are, her unconscious, you're taking it in. So everyone has mom's emotional energy, victim energy, okay? And you still have your own. You still have your own beliefs. You still have your own conclusions. You still have where you're still believing that you have no power, that you're not, they have no control, that things are being done to you. What happens is when you have victim energy in the energy field, this is going to call this victim energy. What do you think is going to happen? So, yeah, you're going to get your mom's victim energy, okay? But you're also going to gather even more victim energy constantly, even more and more and more energy that's not even yours, okay? But as long as you got your own victim energy in you, you're going to attract more victim energy. There's no way around it. Energy frequency attracts frequency, same, same energy, okay? So by unraveling your energy, like I'm going to just point, I'm going to show you this unraveling as well with Nicole, okay? So even though she's not saying I'm feeling victimized, there's still a quality of she's still perceiving it. She still feels her mother's energy in here, okay? And even the question of what's going on here. So people, when you have victim energy frequency in you, you can't not feel victimized, okay? When things happen, you know, like if someone runs into your car, you're going to feel victimized. I mean, it, it just goes on and on and on, okay? But the way to unravel the victimization to unravel your victimhood is you got to unravel and get this friggin' victim energy out, okay? And I know that sounds like, oh, let's just clean that right up. Okay, well, let me tell you how dense, how big victim energy is. It's huge. It's one of the biggest friggin' energies in the entire planet, okay? So, okay, so now, people, let's go ahead and move out your mom's victim energy, okay? Let's start releasing mom's energy. So even though you may not think you've got mom's energy, I guarantee you, you do, okay? So let's just do a little unraveling with mom's victim energy. And then I want to do a few more things with Nicole and see if we can really, let, so that Nicole really gets that whole misperception of reality that, oh, I'm really actually not a victim, okay? Or, oh, maybe I am a victim, okay? So, but truthfully, there are no victims, all right? So let's just start releasing mom's energy out of your, everyone's energy field, okay? Just for a moment. It doesn't matter whether your mom's dead or alive. It doesn't matter whether you even knew your mother. Whoever body you were growing in, you're going to pull in all their energy, okay? Maybe not everything, but you're going to pull in all their frequencies, negative energies, okay? So as I go in, so now I'm going to do this for everyone, everyone. Think about your mom. If you don't know who that is, it doesn't matter. Just let it out. Just it, There's enough energies here that we can just start releasing. Okay, good. Now, everybody, just get out of the way. Forget about it. Now, I'm going to go direct. I'm going to be telling you what I'm doing so you understand. When I go direct, I'm going to your highest levels, your supra consciousness, the highest level of you before you become one with the all that is. Okay? So now I go direct, and I, get it, and I, and I talk directly to these highest levels. And I'm showing the highest levels. This is the this is the old paradigm that we're living in. We're moving into the new paradigm. All these behaviors, all these ways of being, all this victimization. And I'm using that now because we're talking about victimization. All of that needs to be released. So moms, I'm going to talk to the moms direct. Everyone's mothers. Everyone's mothers. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I'm going to show them. You put your victim energy in your, your children, these babies, when they're being growing inside of your womb. They were drinking poison. Your victim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now some mothers are like mortified, horrified. I just want to start pulling their energy out of you. Other other mothers, you know, they're not so attached. They don't really care. Doesn't matter. I'm still working at the highest levels not the lower levels of the human consciousness. And now we're going to start releasing and pulling mom's energy out of your cells, your DNA, your blood, your bones, your tissues, your muscles, your organs, your skin, everything coming out of your physical body, out of all the chakras, energy centers, 
all the poison, poison, poison that's been in your body, moving that energy out, 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 clear, 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 clear. Good. And I'm going to go in to where you, you anchored in the belief. You anchored it in. The moment we feel out of control, the moment we feel our rights are taken away, the moment we feel enslaved or in some way abused and there's nothing we can do about it, victim energy is going to present. Okay, so that's because you don't have the teachings, you don't understand that you're a co-creator 100%, that you have co-created your entire life and all of your lives. Okay, so now, even that victim feeling, that poor me, that poor me, that poor me, why is this happening to me? Let's get those frequencies and start moving those up and out, get those energy frequencies coming out, 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 clear, clear, clear. Now, I'm going to actually activate and wake up the, the accountable, the responsible, the, the higher levels of you that are still in your energy field, that are still the essence, core essence of who you are, is that divine creator incarnate. Divine, you're a divine being, in creator, creator incarnate, you're divine. So that frequency right there does not hold on to any beliefs that things are being done to you, it's the co-creator. It's the part that's willing to and understands and knows that it's all a co-creation. So you want to anchor that. I'll do some more of that at the end. I'll be waking up even more of that. But right now, let me go back to Nicole. And let's see here. Whoops. Okay, Nicole. All right. So, all right. So Nicole, when now when you think about like power structures and you think about the structure and authority, authority figures, um, things that, of that nature. Okay, go ahead and just hold that for me for a moment. Yeah, because see another thing we do, people, is when we when we perceive someone in a position of power, we something in us there's some some kind of shift that happens inside and then we become smaller we become victimized our victim energy presents or we become bigger and we get more even we become the abuser okay so but mostly when we see authority figures or people in power we believe that they have more knowledge or more power than us and you know of course they're holding a gun or something yeah they're gonna have power over you but still i'm not talking about this the frequencies that are happening here, I'm talking about what's happening inside. And oh, that reminds me. So <clears throat> I want to back up. Sorry, people. But when you hold that victim energy, if you can, if you, if it ever, never goes away, then again, it will never, it'll keep compounding. Okay. But when we get this out, when we clear up this victim energy, uh, there's nothing for anything to grab onto. So all these other dark victim energies, just, they, just, they don't grab hold of, okay? So even though we can't change the world, even though we're not going to stop the 5G this instant, we can still be freed from the anguish, from the emotions that we're experiencing within, okay? And that's what this is all about, people. Liberation is the ending of suffering from within. We cannot change the external reality, but we can change our perceptions our world, how we react, how we respond, and be liberated from our own suffering. Okay, so now I want to come back to Nicole. Nicole, I want you to feel back in and let me know what you're noticing. Okay, now when you think about all these things, let's see what you can get. Okay, let me see what she says. Okay, I'm a, okay, what? Oh, where'd she go? Nicole, sweetie. Um, Okay, here we go. And here it is. Okay, here she's saying, yes, becoming small or feeling powerless is correct, but only those who act un in unkind ways. Okay, so again, you're not going to change how anybody acts. You're not going to wake anybody up. Okay, so even, yeah, so victim, the thing about victim feeling victimized is you are going to feel disempowered. You're going to feel powerless. Okay. Because it all goes hand in hand. Victims are powerless. You have no rights. You have no say. You have no choices. But it's the emotion. Again, people, see if you can anchor this in and get this. If you're holding a frequency inside, victimhood, victim energy, the poor me, this is happening to me. If you, have, if you still have that victim frequency that victim belief in your subconscious 
more and more and more is going to keep happening. You're going to get more and more evidence, okay? What I'm saying is, people, you got to unravel your victimhood. When you no longer feel victimized, when you're no longer having that same emotional frequency that you're so familiar with and the way it makes you feel in that perverse pleasure in your own suffering, then you're going to keep perpetuating more. There's no way around it. You can't not do that. Okay. So, all right. So Nicole, all right. Yeah. So even people who act kind, who the, who cares? Okay. So <laughs> the good news is, is when you don't have your victim energy running, you won't care. Okay. You won't, you won't be involved. You won't matter what other people are doing. You'll just be concerned about your own reality and being clear within to end your own suffering. That's it. To end your own suffering. Okay. All right. So let's, let's, um, let me just see. We got some other good stuff happening here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, becoming smaller. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah. So hang on a second. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to clean everybody's victim energy. It would change the world, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, all right. So now let me see here. I gotta go over here. Come on down. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so y'all should, so y'all should be feeling a little bit lighter on your, um, you know, with your mom's energy in your body. Okay, because we've been um, unraveling some of that. <clears throat> Okie dokie. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so, everyone, you know, people, everyone's got the victim thing running. You can't not. Okay. So, the, what, what we want to do, though, what's really important, what's cool about this kind of work is what we're doing is we're, we're just, we're unraveling the frequencies that are not you. And in doing so, it changes your life, but it, be, it creates that frequency of liberation. Okay, so <laughs> so some people, yeah, lighter, good. Okay, and then let's see, why stuck energy? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So Falcon's asking if we listen to this again, will it take out another layer? Yeah, people, here's the thing about the clearings. This is what's cool about clearings. And even, even when you get the group clearings, like when you either go for free and you get, when you sign up, that clearing will be in your membership site and you'll always have that. Even when it goes into our um, library thing, or not library, but our vault, and, uh, and it becomes a paid, you still have it. So whenever you listen, re listen to anything, people, call me in, meaning come on in so that I can unravel. And yes, we'll keep unraveling di different layers and layers and layers. That's the beauty of the work with these recorded videos is it keeps unraveling. So just answering that question that yes, it keeps unraveling if you listen to it again. Okay, so let's just come back to victim energy, okay? So as we're, as we're, um, as we're releasing some of these energies uh, as we're talking about it. Um, what? Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. I got just, <laughs> I'm reading stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, but as we unravel, we pretty soon, you know, we don't want to be in the dance of victimhood. It's much, it's, you know, there's something much more powerful, much more potent, much more alive to not be a victim. Okay. So I know that victimization, you know, you can't not. It's like, you know, you feel like victimized even as an, a child, a toddler, you get your hand smacked for picking something up and putting in your mouth, okay? It, it, it's everywhere. You, it's like you can't avoid feeling victimized until you wake up to it and then clear out the victim consciousness. Oh, that's a good one. The consciousness, yes. Okay, hang on a second, people. And here's the thing with victimization. It doesn't matter where it shows up in your world, okay? Like, for example, I'm looking at Amy. I'll pin her just so we can, you can all see her because who knows where we're at. Okay, so there we go. So there's Amy. Um, by God and her own nature, okay? Feeling victimized by having a challenging son. 
Yeah, okay, people, that's what I'm talking about. The victimization, feeling victimized is in every facet of your life, okay? If you don't wake up to it, nothing's gonna change, okay? You gotta wake up to it. All right, so, yeah, okay, so Amy, sweetie, I'm gonna, let's just unwrap, let's, let me just kinda bring to awareness a few things, and then we can look at this a little bit deeper, okay? So, a challenging son with tons of anxiety. Okay, so, and you got your own anxiety and your own sensitivity. So, Amy, there's that, yeah, there's that feeling like being victimized, okay? So, yeah, you got a son who's challenging, and you feel this, I can see this major victim energy in your core and your body that's directly connected with your son, okay? But let's back up a little bit. Let's go back. So, as I go back into your past, into your past incarnations okay so when i go back in time hang on a second mm -hmm. okay so amy just so you understand there's another lifetime that's presenting really strongly and it has to do with the same son you also had before but this one was it's like i'm seeing them even uh what is it it's like mentally me mentally retarded drooling no control over the, the body. So here again, you were caring for the same soul. Okay, let me back up. Let me go further. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, prior, okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, so prior to that, what I'm what's presenting, just so you know, what's presenting is the, there's several lifetimes where she's been caring for the same soul. Okay, but prior to that, there's an agreement. Um, there's an agreement they made together. Okay, here's Amy, here's the son. They made an agreement to come together and know themselves as him being, you know, a challenge of him of her taking care of. Okay. That's just in a nutshell. There's much more to it. But then when I go back, prior to that, what was happening is both of these beings were very privileged, um, especially the son. Okay, as I'm looking at that, oh yeah, 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 highly elevated, blah, 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 okay? So we often wanna know ourselves in a different way, opposite. So they made the agreement that he would be, become like uh, challenged physically, mentally, emotionally, all kinds of different ways of challenges. And the agreement was, is that they would come in and she would be the caregiver, the, the mother or the person caring for, and that they would learn these lessons of what it felt like and what it was like to be challenged, to be the, the one that was broken and dysfunctional, and then also the caregiver, okay? So y'all missed, you missed the reason why. Y'all missed it. You're still missing it, Amy, okay? So now, so then they've had several lifetimes, and now here it is again, okay? Why is it happening again? Because you didn't get all the components, you didn't get the lessons, you didn't get the, you know, the teachings, the, your soul didn't wake up to something, all right? So here it is again, okay? So, Amy, now you've got another opportunity, okay? So part of the opportunity is you got to wake up, you don't have to, but I would suggest wanting to, that, oh, you co-created with your son this lifetime, okay? Why? There's, there's enormous soul experiences that you're that you'll anchor into your soul's awareness that you're not doing you're you know you're still holding on to being punished god's doing this to you feeling like you're being harmed like you're being hurt like things are being done to you but you don't have the understanding the awareness the consciousness that oh I called this in ah oh, this isn't my first rodeo hmm okay what am I missing here Oh yeah. So Amy, one of the things that you're being asked to know, not only the the fact that you're feeling the overwhelm, you're feeling a lot of intense experiences, a lot of intense feelings, but what if you just softened? What if you surrendered to what all of this felt like? What if you just let go and surrendered into your feelings, those feelings of feeling you know, victimized or feeling overwhelmed, the feeling, you know, what it's like to have your son and these challenges. So that's what's being asked of you to know thyself in these places 
of intense feelings. Okay, so that's also happening, all right? What I can do is help to release the intensity of these feelings because by releasing the intensity, you can navigate it easier, okay? Good one, Amy, just waking up, girl. Okay, so Amy, sweetie, let me, I'm just gonna do something here, okay? So I want you to hold your son in your awareness for a moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so partly what's happening is both of you are inside of each other's energy field, okay? Another thing that you gotta, everyone needs, you need to be aware of, people are pulling, you're pulling each other in all the time, okay? So now I'm gonna separate the two of you, Amy, all right? So again, I go to the super consciousness, highest levels of who you are, get the go ahead, okay? If I don't get the go ahead, I ask, show me what I need to do so I can get the go ahead, okay? So as I begin to check in, get the go ahead from both of them now, I'm gonna pull them out of each other's body, which is gonna make a difference just in that alone, okay? So people, another thing is like, whenever you have emotional connections with people, you need to start pulling your energy back out of their body and sending them back to their body. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's having these experiences. But what happens when other people's energy is inside of your body, you're never freed from them. And it, it's more intense. It's more uncomfortable. Okay, so now as I come in, I'm going to start releasing their energies out of each other, pulling them apart. There we go. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Amy, just so you know, you've also co-created a dependency like there's a part of you that's wants him to be, depend on you, okay? So I just found that as I'm pulling him out of your body, he's latching on, holding on, but then what is he holding on to? He's holding on to an, a frequency inside of you that says, hang on, I need to be needed. No, I need to be important. I need to be important. And somehow this makes you feel like you're doing something important, okay? But there's something here. So, uh, so then as I clear that and then pull it there we go there we go there we go. coming out 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 pulling his energy out pulling you out of him yeah 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 clear there we go back up back up back up there we go clear more of a victim energy frequencies in the body coming out, out out good now amy think about your son again and just let me know it should feel a little less intense when you think about your son okay and let me see what that looks like okay yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm going to unpin that. Amy, is there? Yeah, so now when you think about your son, it should feel, he should feel like even like a little further away. Okay, that's what happens, people, when we pull out other people's energy that's in your body, as well as pulling you out of other people's energy out of their bodies, is they feel further away. That's because you're no longer inside of each other, and that's, that's what's happening, okay? All right, let me just see what that is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah feel different. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So people, it's like waking up to how much is actually happening in the unseen world, the unseen realms is vital. Okay. Um, it's like, <clears throat> unless you understand that you're not, <laughs> unless you really understand the whole thing about victimization and what we're really doing, you can't let it go. You can't unravel it. Okay. So the more awareness you have, people, the more empowered you are. Once you start understanding that, oh yeah, I'm attached to my own victimhood, I'm attached to being a victim, and then you start realizing, oh, I'm a divine being. Hmm. That gives you op op opportunity for different choices, okay? So, let me just check in again. Okay, let's see here. <sighs> Okay, let me see. Yeah, Amy. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah, people, the anxiety thing. Um, again, you know, if you can take your, if you can all start waking up to the reality that you, when you have emotional desires, emotional wants, emotional reactions emotional wounding, you're perpetrating energy with your, your energy, your emotions, and others are doing the same thing with you. If you can start playing with, always pulling your energy back from your friends, from your children, 
you know, like even getting mad at somebody, you know, you get angry. You can, if you guys pay attention, you can literally feel your own energy going out. Okay. So you want to start pulling your energy back in. You want to pull your energy back into your own body. And then if you've had interactions with others, you know, you want to try and get their energy out. Sometimes they, you, you know, you got to get, maybe get help to get them out or talk to them and say, you know, you're, you're pushing your energy into my belly. I can feel you. You need to pull your emotions, whatever it is you're wanting from me, whatever it is you're judging about me, whatever it is that you're pushing on me, please pull your energy back out. I'm feeling it. And I don't want to feel you in my body. Okay. So people, you need to really just be aware of these things and start being accountable and taking charge of your world and your life by letting people know. I mean, they don't know either. Okay. For some of you, this is like, what? This is like, you didn't, you never even heard of something like this. Okay. And others it's like, yeah, you've heard of it, but still I'm telling you, you're still all holding your victim energy. Okay. So <clears throat> I want to spend these last few minutes. We got five minutes. Um, what I want to do is I want to be activating you, all of you. Okay. This is where our quantum consciousness can really kick in. But first we got to, you know, it's like, if you got a dish full of dirt, um, pot full of black, dirty, mucky water, you're going to have to empty some of it out in order to bring in the clean water, okay? So in order to really find and feel your divine, beautiful light frequency that you are, your creator incarnate, you got to start releasing some of the debris that's on top of it that you can't see your own self or feel your own self, okay? So we're going to do some activations now. All right, everyone, just, just take a moment, relax your body. I want you all to think about the poor me the victim. God's punishing me. God's hurting me. My partner's hurting me. My children, my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, whatever you got running, whoever you got that running with, go ahead and hold that, that poor me, that victim. People, I'm, things are being done to me. I have no control. I have no power. I'm, you know, disempowered, blah, blah, blah. I'm the victim. Let's hold that. Good. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to now get out of the way, people. Get out of the way. I'm just going to be right next to each and every one of you. Beautiful. There we go. Good. Now, I'm going to start bringing some light in. I'm going to go deep into the very core of your energy field and the very core of your physical body into the very essence of, your, of you. Okay, there we go. Now, I can see all kinds of debris. I'm actually going to start clearing some of this debris and then activating more of that divine frequency, that beautiful light that you actually really, really are, the truth of who you are, divine being, creator incarnate, living on the planet in a human body. Okay, good. Now let's start releasing some of the debris. I'm going to bring the light in. I'm going to use the white flame. I'm going to go to your higher levels, super consciousness. Get to go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Now, now let's give the acceleration. Time to accelerate these frequencies. Bringing in light, 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 light. To the traumas, the horrors, the shocks, the terrors, the crisis, the punishments. Yes, 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 yes. The beliefs. It's all beliefs. All beliefs. Clear, 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 clear. Light. Light, 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 light. Brighter, 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 stronger. Brighter. Clear, 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 clear. Clear, clear. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I'm going to go directly into your core center or the creator creation, the frequency of light, 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 where you don't buy into something's wrong with you or anybody else. Where you don't believe these beliefs, these falsehoods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to activate. I am, yeah, I am empowered. I am creator incarnate. I am co creator of my entire life. I'm, yep, there we go. Yep, taking charge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amp it up, amp it up, right in the very core of your being, in the core of your body. Amping it up, amping up, amping up, amping up. That you are co creator, that you are creator incarnate, that you are a divine being, that you are being freed from your own beliefs of victimization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Activating, 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 going in, in, in. There we go. Deep into the subconscious, other frequencies interfering, clear. Clear, 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 be gone, be gone, be gone. Light, light, light. Now surrounding you with the light. Yep, light, 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 all around your entire body. Good. And I'm going to amp that up even more. Coming in, in, in with even more light. Yep, there we go. And use the white flame. I want to hear the roar of that white flame throughout the entire body. Let's release even more victim frequency, the victimization. Clear, 
clear, clear, clear, clear. There we go. Light, 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 light. Beautiful. Nice. Good. Go, go, go. Clear, 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 clear. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. So the clearer you are, the faster I can actually work with you. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's okay, people. Good. Okay. So we'll let this kind of anchor in as like lots of, lots of activation happening. Okay. And waking up. Good. Good, good, good. Beautiful. So moving energy out of your energy field. Good. Beautiful. Okay, people. Some, you know, there was a few questions about different things that probably should go to the office. You know what I mean? Like if you're wondering about taking classes or programs, go to the office. Okay. Or, you know, we care. Do that kind of go there. Okay, so people, you got you'll have this again. You can listen to it. All the pieces where I did clearings, you can take advantage of again repeatedly. Call me in and it'll just keep unraveling. All right. So yeah, stay, you know, keep tuned, keep uh, of our next whatever we're doing. We got group clearings, of course. We've got um, more of these. And uh, yeah, so the consciousness one. So, you know. Quantum consciousness means, too, you got to understand things. If you don't understand, you're disempowered. All right, people, till next time. It's been real. Thank you all for showing up. Thank you for being here. Let your friends know. I mean, this is free. Free, okay? <laughs> okay, people, till next time.